Galaxy S7 Edge Overheating. What should you do to fix this? Boot your S7 Edge in safe mode and observe. You should only try this if you're 100% sure your phone hasn't gotten wet or submerged in water. We are now trying to find out if your apps have something to do with the problem. As you know, there are apps or games that use too much resources, CPU and RAM plus display, etc., and these are the kinds that can cause the phone to heat up. Booting your phone in safe mode will temporarily disable all third-party apps. This will immediately give you an insight whether it's the third-party apps that cause the problem or pre-installed ones depending on the result. But please note that booting in safe mode doesn't fix anything. You're doing this to observe the performance of your device. Here's how you boot your Galaxy S7 Edge in safe mode. Press and hold the power key. As soon as you can see the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge on the screen, release the power key and immediately hold the volume down key. Continue holding the volume down button until the device finishes rebooting. You may release it when you can see safe mode in the bottom left corner of the screen. Once in this state and the phone is still heating up, then the problem might be caused by pre-installed apps or the firmware itself. Otherwise, you just need to find third-party apps that might be causing the issue and try disabling or uninstalling them. You may also try to reinstall them to see if that makes a difference. If this is the case, you don't have to worry so much about your phone as it is fine. Step 2 Perform the master reset to rule out firmware issue. You only have to do this if your phone still heats up while in safe mode, that is, of course, if the device is still powered up with enough battery. The purpose of this procedure is simple, to rule out the possibility that one or some of the pre-installed apps or the firmware itself is causing the problem. As you know, a reset will bring the phone back to its factory settings or state wherein everything works fine. However, you need to back up every file and data you don't want to lose as they'll be deleted during the process and can't be retrieved if that happens. That's also the reason why this procedure must come in last. Turn off your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Press and then hold the home and volume up keys, then press and hold the power key. Note, it doesn't matter how long you press and hold the home and volume up keys, it won't affect the phone but by the time you press and hold the power key, that's when the phone starts to respond. When the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge shows on the screen, release the power key but continue holding the home and volume up keys. When the Android logo shows, you may release both keys and leave the phone be for about 30 to 60 seconds. Note, the installing system update message may show on the screen for several seconds before displaying the Android system recovery menu. This is just the first phase of the entire process. Using the volume down key, Navigate through the options and highlight Wipe Data Slash Factory Reset. Once highlighted, you may press the power key to select it. Now highlight the option Yes Delete All User Data using the volume down key and press the power button to select it. Wait until your phone is finished doing the master reset. Once completed, highlight Reboot System now and press the power key. The phone will now reboot longer than usual. This two-step troubleshooting guide is for units that are heating up but can still boot up or turn on successfully. Let us know if this helped in the comments below.